Hey there, welcome back to All The Mods 10. I am in the other at the moment, the other dimension that is, and we are searching for Vibranium Ore. I've been very fortunate that I have fire uh, immunity. So these things are absolutely no threat whatsoever, which is quite handy, which because there's actually loads of them in this dimension. Since the last episode, I have been finding vibranium ore. It's actually a lot more common than I thought, especially when you look around these kind of valleys, these kind of gorges type thing. We're at Y minus seven, so it only generates from zero upwards. So it's a little higher than where we are, so it's likely to be on the ceiling. Uh, I, it's a pretty dark, pretty dark biome here. So, I mean, I've taken shaders off because basically they aren't really needed. I mean, let me just show you what it looks like. It actually makes it a little bit better for this sort of room. I've, I've actually got enough vibranium now to make some mystical agriculture seeds. So I'm not necessarily going to spend too much time here. I have to come back because we need to find ourselves a... A smithing template just like we did for uh, all the modium uh, where am I looking there so we need the mission really is I've already got vibranium that's fine we've got seeds growing however we need to find ourselves a smithing template which are found in bastions I know where a bastion is we raided one a few episodes back I think I did all the chests but there might be some more chests so could be lucky then, once we've done that, we then need to head to the end. Actually, we need to craft ourselves one of these things first. A vibranium pick. So that we are able to mine this stuff. And that's really the episode. It's a little bit of base progression that I've done. I've been uh, um, adding more seeds to my crops. Oops. And on my mystical agriculture crops, because they are... It's just amazing. It's I don't actually miss botany pots anymore because, yeah, quite simply, um, mystical agriculture is probably a better way of doing it, to be honest. It feels a little bit... It's just as powerful, but it's a lot more challenging to get to. Yeah, next time I come back to the other, I am going to turn these shaders on because it actually is a hell of a lot better from a visibility point of view. So make a note of that. So yeah, a bit of an update. We last time around we added the modular routers, and that's that is working really well. Um, it doesn't it obviously means you can't really monitor what's going on here because things get sucked up. Although there are still a few things here. Um, what have we got new since the last episode? Blazing crystal. We've got um, spirited crystal so for those that are in the know about the power mod those are particularly the spirited crystal is i've really got to sort that portal out uh anyway uh ae2 let's have a look at what we've got because it's been a little while now of just letting things grow and we are we have 25 spirited 26 blazing we actually have 22 Vibranium Essence now. So that is, can I actually see recipes for that? No, I can't, not, not with that faffing. So yeah, I'm gonna let that grow a little bit. Um, in the meantime, uh, I think it's time to go to the Bastion and find ourselves, oh, no, before we go to the Bastion, let me just show you this. I'm gonna turn shaders off because it's actually actually no different whatsoever oh well never mind so i've expanded my ae2 setup to include a uh, a reactor which is uh, just a second tier basic reactor and uh, an energizing rod and i'm not really planning to go into detail but basically the energizing rod energizes stuff in the energizing orb so for example you pop an iron and a gold ingot in there this will detect it and go, ooh, zap it. It will use the power from the reactor and it will create energized steel, which is what you use for the tier above this, which is called hardened, I believe. 
and then I've been just manually manually zapping stuff from here just to get up the tiers and uh, probably best to explain this through the quests. Um, the tiers go sort of down here. So we've got a basic reactor. Um, I've now I've, then we, we looked at energized steel and then blazing crystal. I skipped niotic and went straight to spirit because all I needed to do was zap some emeralds. That's just zapping diamonds. But for some reason, it seems emeralds is more more precious than diamonds in this, so it's a higher level. Nitro, not near yet because I've got some nether star stuff to do um, to get to that, and that's some of the thing I want to get to as soon as possible because power up is going to be a crucial part of my plans for the rest of this series. So we're back in the Bastion. We are looking for a smithing template. It's found in Bastions, so it is found in Suspicious Soul Sand. So we just got to have a little nose around. So as the good news is it's not in chests. So having raided all the chests, I, I know there isn't anything left here. But um, we need to go and find ourselves some soul sand of the suspicious variety. Okay, if I remember correctly, these dudes attack anyway. Oh. Do you attack? Yeah. Wow, this thing's powerful. One whack. Oh. Sorry, bunnies. Oh, you can't see my feet. Uh, for those that aren't aware, I have um, extra feather falling with my bunny slippers, which can be very handy then. Ooh, automatically smelts mine doors. Very handy. And a bastion ring. Hmm. So it's all RPG-like stuff by looks of things. Anyway, I found some soul sand. Is it suspicious? It doesn't look like it is. The reason it looks a bit brighter, I've just realised, is the fact that we've actually got um, a dynamic light mod now. So as you can see, uh, you hold something, it's quite light. You put it away, it goes dark. So I'm just going to pop that in my offhand. And it makes... It just makes the these dark places, particularly in the other, a lot more uh, easier to navigate. What are you doing, little dude? Pretty much search the whole thing. It's quite a big place, but you know, I'm not I'm not sure if these um, suspicious uh, soul sand blocks actually generate every bastion. That would be frustrating if I find out that they don't, and I've been looking around here for ages. However, there is this... There is more underneath here that I maybe just need to dig into. Oop. Don't mind me. It's in the walls as well. Okay, I haven't been looking at the walls, and that's what it looks like. It stands out quite a bit. It's a very different colour. I'm still in nether. This is quite a bit later. And I've marked what I think is a vanilla bastion. You may wonder why have I done that? Well, for those looking for a vibranium smithing template, I've done a little bit of research on this. And having spent literally the last two real world days wandering around this dimension, I've come to the conclusion that the suspicious soul sand that we're looking for just as a reminder when it loads uh, the suspicious soul sand is in bastions however in this mod pack there are there are many bastions there are loads of bastions there are lots of different types and what you need if you are looking for this smithing template is a vanilla bastion so something that is less towery in shape, more square in shape. If you take a look at the mini-map, we'll I'll just open up the big map here. 
This is the sort of shape you're looking for. It's got the magma spawn room, the treasure room, and somewhere in here, having watched quite a few videos on this, uh, there should be some suspicious soul sand in there. So I am going to have a little look around and with any luck, we'll find what we need. I'm quite low down, so I should just be able to tunnel through if all goes well. Where do I where do I look? Let's see if I can get a good view of this bridge. And these guys don't scare me that much because this pick's pretty awesome. What's that? Okay, so you all defend your defend each other. Fair enough. Uh, uh, okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness for the fact that I don't have any damage. <laughs> any fire damage. Do I drown in lava? Uh, maybe. Either way, I, I need to get out of here. What I'm looking for is suspicious soul sand. So it should stand out because it's quite a different colour. I need to also pillar up out of here because I'm a little bit surrounded. Okay, can you... Oh, what's that? What's that? That looks... Oh, here we go. That's soul sand. It just says soul sand. But it looks different. You see how it looks different? It's darker in the middle. So that's what we need. And what I'd also need is to check that there's a block underneath it, which there is. What am I doing? I just did something. Uh, oops. Oh well. Right, okay. Let's brush this and hopefully we can get it looking promising. A vibranium smithing template. That has taken me days to find. Absolutely days. But I found it. That's the main thing. Now I've just got to find my way out of here. And um, yeah, and head back. Awesome. How do I get out of here? I can just dig my way out. There we go. Problem solved. Right. My stridey friend. In fact, we don't need to use you. We can just... Do we have a... Oh, we've got 11 waystones. Awesome. All right, pop a waystone down here and... We'll just call it Vanilla Bastion. And then we can head home. Something I wanted to show you. Let's turn my point off. There's something I wanted to show you actually that I found on my on my Bastion search, and that is this thing. Which is not just any old spawner. It's very handy with a skelly spawner. So I've been spending a little while here collecting skulls. What am I up to? 15 at the moment. I, there's also in this mod pack you've got with a skull fragments, which I believe you can craft into skulls, so. I think it makes the uh, obt obtaining these Wither Skelly Skulls a little less frustrating. Um, can I sneak over here and have a look in these? Yeah. I'm not afraid of you. Nothing special, but uh, it will do. So yeah, I mean, this is a really, really simple way of farming with the skeletons it's um obviously not automatic in any way it's a little bit if you ignore the spawner part of it it's a little bit vanilla a little bit manual but you know it's fine for now because once i've got enough of these i should if it all goes well i should be able to start killing some withers i mean i've, I've opened i've got the end now i've got access to the end and I should be able to start farming withers, which if I can get if I can get nether stars, I can then grow some Wisterkill agriculture 
Nether Star Seeds, which opens up all sorts of possibilities. Right, well, that's that's that now in terms of exploring. Let's get some vibranium sorted out. Okay, now with our template, well, we only need one for now. I've made some copies. We're going to pop our, all the modium pickaxe in there. And there we go. We have a vibranium pickaxe. So this allows us to now seek the third and final ore, which is unobtainium, which I actually know where one block is because I saw that when I was exploring the end. So what this will mean is what well, we've got to find enough ore. Um, again, we need to, we're going to focus on the seeds from it. Um, where am I looking at? So if we look, go to mystical agriculture, we are able to farm unobtainium. And for that, we need unobtainium blocks. So what is that? Four, four blocks of nine ingots each. So what's that? 36. 36 ingots of unobtainium is what we need. And this, from what I understand, is pretty much the rarest of the rare in terms of blocks in this game. So it's, it's not going to be fun. I hope it's a little less frustrating than trying to find a bastion for the smithing template. And of course, there is a smithing template as well. I forgot to mention that while I was in the screen. We have a smithing template for unobtainium that is found in chests in the dungeon structure in the other. So I've seen nothing to do with structures, no structures at all in my exploration of the other, but I have been mainly mining at a certain level when I was looking for vibranium. So, um, which incidentally I've found loads of in the nether, uh, at the higher levels. So there's a tip. If you don't want to be digging around the other, go to the nether, go up high, and then you'll find loads of this stuff. Right. Okay. So that's pretty much all I planned for this episode. I think I'll, we'll call it here and then maybe we'll um, we'll, we'll try and finish off all the modium ore finding, um, unobtainium ore finding even, in the next episode so that we can then get back to our big base building plans. And uh, yeah, I'll be pretty pleased because these these tools, these all, all the modium pickaxe that I had before, was about 14 attack damage. Now, what does this do? Uh, 30. Wow. Okay. So just a pick should be incredibly useful um, and there's not many things that I should fear maybe I should probably deck myself out in some armor um, but yeah for the for future grain to worry about I'm going to sign off now you take care of whatever you've got planned in the coming days uh, enjoy have fun and uh, I'll see you in the next episode bye